Hello, everybody. It's Friday, August 30th, and this is Mr. Eichler's Weekly Webcast. To begin with, a reminder, please help the kids remember to plug in their iPads at night and recharge them for the next day. Many of the kids are arriving in the morning with 1% or 2% left on the battery, which means they're going to be tethered to the wall, and it just makes it a little difficult for them to get around during the day and do all that they need to do because their iPad's dead. Um, so again, if you could just help them remember at night before they go to bed, plug it in, charge it up for the next day, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, number two, we have a field trip coming up next week on Wednesday. We are going to the fire safety village up uh, in Cobb County here. And uh, a couple of reminders to A, please wear your trip t-shirts if you have them. And B, uh, please, if you're going to send their lunch, uh, please send it in a paper bag. Uh, so that uh, they can just throw it all out after lunch and we don't have to worry about keeping up with their lunch bags and their lunch boxes and such. Uh, speaking of field trips, we need some chaperones for Wasiga. If you are available for uh, from Monday, October 21st to Wednesday, October 23rd, I need to hear from you. Uh, I would like to get our chaperones picked by the end of next week. Uh, we do need you to fill out some paperwork and have a background check, so that's going to take a little time to do, and it's time to get going on that. So if you would like to go and be a chaperone, uh, please drop me an email and let me know, uh, and I will put you on the list. I have two moms that have and asked to be chaperones. So I just need one more mom, and then uh, I need three dads to go on the trip with us. So thank you in advance for that. Uh, and I'll let you all know by next Friday who our chaperones will be. Um, grades. They're going in the books. Yes, they are. Slowly but surely, uh, I'm getting them all caught up and graded. There should be some math grades in there, or a math grade that is, uh, a reading grade or two, and a writing grade. Um, it's taken me a little while to get through their lyric analysis. Uh, that's kind of a tedious process because there's no answer key for it. Everybody's different, and I got to read their lyrics and look to see if those poetry elements are in there. So that's going to take me a little while to finish up. But most everything else has been entered into the grade book, and they are relatively very up to date. Date. Um, there should be uh, uh, new grades should be a uh, the car estimation for math uh, in reading a music log and the lyric analysis is slowly getting done uh, in writing they should have a character study grade and uh, they should also be a couple of grades from seesaw from science for their lunar phases that they did and some grades uh, for uh, uh, another science project we did on the day and summer uh, uh, seasons uh, and how that whole thing happens. <sighs> so yes, there's a lot to be graded and a lot to go in the books and I'm slowly getting caught up with all of that. Speaking of Seesaw, which is where their science projects have been posted, uh, this is a school-wide initiative this year. All the teachers are using Seesaw and uh, last week I believe I sent home a, a little QR code thing that you can sign up using the Seesaw Parent app and this will link you directly to your child and uh, you can see everything that they post on Seesaw and you can make comments on their things as well. And it's just kind of nice for the kids and they, they love getting the feedback from mom and dad as well as from me. Um, and you only are able to see your child, that's all, no one else's, so no worries on privacy in that respect. Um, and finally, what's going on in class? Well, today, as you may or may not have known, is our lunch with the doctor. And I want to say thank you to all the parents that came out today to share our first Doctor Who experience. It was awesome. The kids loved it. Um, in math, we are working on addition and subtraction problems and story problems that go along with them. And they'll be writing their own and creating their own story problems. And we have a classroom-wide challenge to solve each other's equations next week. So that should be exciting. Uh, in reading, we are finishing up our poetry unit this week and next. Uh, we have finished reading Love That Dog. And I know it's a sad story, uh, but it's so wonderful of a book. And uh, we'll be finishing up our poems next week and finishing up our poetry unit with that. In writing, we are working on narratives. We have been looking intensely at the writing process over the last couple of weeks. And today we're going to start our first drafts. I know, exciting. And uh, we'll get into editing and revision and looking at other story components along the way as well, like writing hooks and things like that. And in science working on our lunar phases and uh, learning the lunar cycle of all the different shapes of the moon throughout the month. And next week we'll be moving into analyzing stars and planets and noting the differences uh, between the Jovian and terrestrial planets and different types of stars and all that fun stuff too. So that's everything I got. Everybody have a fantastic three-day weekend. I hope it is wonderful. Do me a favor. If anybody is intending to go to Dragon, uh, Dragon Con 
and uh, you're planning on hitting the exhibition room where they're selling all the stuff, drop me a remind and let me know. I want to send you shopping, and yes, I will reimburse you. Uh, I need some dice for the classroom. So uh, drop me a remind if you're going to Dragon Con, and uh, we'll, we'll talk further. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and we'll see you all on Tuesday. Have a fantastic three-day weekend.